Hi kids, and welcome to the Lab Kids Preschool. My name is Pastor Danae. Watch this. One more, ready? Uh-oh. Last chance. Woohoo! Hello everyone, it's the start of a brand new month and for our brand new month, we have a brand new theme. This month, our theme is Hey, Hi, Hello. God gives me friends and well, you're my friends and I'm so glad you're here. So I thought we would do something fun together. Okay, I'm going to say something and then you're going to repeat it after me and we're going to see how fast we can say these tongue twisters. Are you ready? Okay, the first one is Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Are you ready? Let's try it. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Faster? Can you do it faster? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. 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 How did you do? Are you ready for the next one? Okay, it goes like this. Sheep should sleep in a shed. Ready? Sheep should sleep in a shed. Faster. Sheep should sleep in a shed. Sheep should sleep in a shed. Whew, that one's tough. Okay, for the last one, it's a little bit shorter. Do you think you can do it? It's just toy boat. Let's try it together. Toy boat. Toy boat. No problem. Okay, ready to go faster? <gasps> toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat. Hmm. That was tricky, but it sure was lots of fun. I'm really glad I got to do it together with you. Did you hear that sound? That means it's time for our story sample. Our story sample is a little picture that gives us a big clue to what our Bible story is about. It's so little, we need our microscope to look at it. On the count of three, can you say zoom in with me? One, two, three, zoom in. Hmm, it's a picture of some hands folded together. That's sort of what it looks like when we pray. Hmm, what could today's Bible story be about? Well, we know prayer is just when we talk to God. It's really simple, not tricky like all of those things we were saying before. And we know our theme this month is about friends. So I wonder if today's Bible story is something about somebody praying for their friends. Let's go find out together. Hey there, welcome to the clubhouse. My name is Mia. I'm Lily. Hey Mia, do you know where Ezra is? Oh, I think he's in the other room. Let's call him using this. Ezra! Hey friends, I'm Ezra and we are The Super Crew. And this is our amazing wonder dog named Bark. Say hi, Bark. <laughs> Ezra, what were you doing over there? I was watching Bark do some cool tricks. It's a good thing you could talk to me with my walkie-talkie. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't I go back into the other room with this? Let's see if we can hear what you say. Come on. Okay, go ahead and try and say something. Bark's beautiful bow tie. Okay, what did they say? Bark's beautiful bow tie. Great job. Let's do another. Super silly socks. How about that one? Super silly socks. Awesome. You did it. Did you send us something super? Yes. yes. Let's take a look at what's inside. I know that one. It's a toy phone. You can use a toy phone when you play and pretend to talk to your friends. So I wonder. What does a toy phone have to do with, hey, hi, hello, God gives me friends? Will you wonder with us? I got it. We can pretend to talk on a toy phone. When we use a real phone, it is an easy way to talk to our friends and family. We can talk and listen to God too. I know where we can learn about talking to God. Let's look, look in the Bible. Bible. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true, and it's for you. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Acts. 
Can you say acts? Acts. You got it. Peter's friends prayed. There was an evil king named Herod who was hurting Christians, people who love and follow God. Herod knew Peter followed God, and he had Peter put in jail and ordered many guards to watch him. While Peter was in prison, some of his friends in the church prayed to God for him. On the night before Peter was going to be punished by the king, Peter was locked up in chains between two soldiers. Peter was sleeping. Others guarded the door of the jail. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and light shone in the jail cell. The angel woke Peter up and said, quick, get up, get dressed and put on your sandals. The chains fell off Peter's wrist and Peter did what the angel said. Put this cloak around you and follow me, he told Peter. Peter followed the angel, not understanding what was happening. The angel led Peter past the guards, through the gate that opened by itself, and outside on the street. Then the angel left Peter. Peter then saw that God had sent the angel to rescue him from the evil king. Right away, Peter went to the house of his friends, where many Christians were praying and talking to God. He knocked on the door, and a servant named Rhoda came out to answer. Rhoda recognized Peter's voice, and she was so happy that she ran to tell everyone that Peter was outside. The friends didn't believe Rhoda at first, but Peter kept knocking. When they opened the door and saw him, everyone inside was amazed. God had listened and answered their prayer. Peter told his friends everything that happened and then he left and went to another place. Wonderful. Peter was in a scary situation and his friends knew exactly what to do. They prayed for him and God listened. God helped Peter. Just like Peter's friends, we can pray and ask God to help our friends too. So, what have we learned? have learned God gives us friends and we can pray for our friends. Whenever our friends need help, we can pray or ask God first to help. That is a big deal. Let's say our big deal together. I'll say it first and then you say it after me. Hey, hi, hello. Hey, hi, hello. God gives me friends. God gives me friends. Great job. Thanks everyone for joining us at the clubhouse. Say bye, Bark. Bye. Whoa, that was such a cool Bible story. I hope you're paying attention because I have today's review clues. Our review clues are pictures that help us remember our Bible story. So I'm gonna put on my review clue glasses. Our first review clue, it's a jail cell. Do you remember who was in jail? Peter was in jail because he had been telling people about Jesus. And well, some other people really didn't like that. It was a pickle, but his friends were busy praying. And next, <gasps> what's this? An angel, do you remember what an angel did? An angel showed up right in Peter's cell and led him right out of the prison and he was free. That is pretty amazing. Okay, last review clue. <gasps> hmm, a big door, that one's a little bit trickier. Do you remember? Peter walked to where he knew his friends were meeting and praying for him and he <laughs> knocked on the door and they opened it up and they were so surprised he was there, they closed the door right in his face. How funny is that? But God had answered their prayer. That is pretty amazing. We know that we can pray for our friends too. God has put people in our lives that are around us and sometimes things don't always go quite the way that we want them to or that our friends want them to but God knows and he loves us and he cares for us and we can talk to him and pray for our friends. That's pretty awesome. Did you hear that sound? Well, with our new theme, we also have a new memory verse. Let's go learn it together. Well, hello friends. My name is Miss Sarah and I'm so glad that you get to join me here in the Bible Lab. Today, we have a new verse that we get to practice from and it's from the book of Philippians, chapter two, verse 3b. And it says, consider others as more important 
than yourselves. Philippians 2 verse 3b. Can we try that one more time? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's do it together, friends. Consider others as more important than ourselves. Philippians 2 verse 3b. Great job, friends. It is so awesome that we can think of others and be there to help them too. Bye for now. Wow, friends, you are doing an awesome job with that verse. I am so glad that God gives us friends and that we can talk to God by praying anytime we want. How about we do that right now? And you know what, friends? I'm gonna practice what we're learning about and I'm gonna pray for you. So we're gonna put our hands together and close our eyes just to help us focus on our great big God who loves us so much. Jesus, I thank you for every kiddo who's watching today. I know you love them and you care about them. I thank you for each one of these friends. I thank you that we can come and talk to you about all the friends you've given us too. So just help us to remember that when we need somebody to talk to, you are always, always there. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I hope to see you back next week, either here or in person.